Hi, everyone. Dr. Westman here, Dr. Eric Westman, and I've been focusing on diabetes this month. A reminder that I'll be giving a free lab workshop on April 29th. That's coming up in a couple weeks. And you can go to adapterlifeacademy.com, my website, and sign up for the free lab workshop right now. And I urge you to sign up for the lab workshop. We're going to go over what labs you need to have and how to understand them. It's not just glucose and insulin. And also there's a limited number of seats. So please sign up for the free lab workshop at adaptyourlifeacademy.com. And it's free, free lab workshop. Uh, I wanted to talk tonight and I'm not gonna take questions and answers uh, until the next time. And this week uh, I'll be talking about low blood sugars and why people are taught to eat carbohydrates. And this is a, this is a problem. And I'll explain why in just a moment, if you have diabetes, why people are taught to eat carbohydrates. So the first session this month I went over the reality that type 2 diabetes is reversible in just about every case. Of course, we want to be working with someone who understands how to get you off the medicines if you're on medicines. If you have pre-diabetes, it's relatively simple to reverse, and you may not need another a doctor or a practitioner if you're not on any medications. You can just reverse the pre-diabetes by changing the food that you eat. And that's what I'm talking about, about lifestyle change. No, no exercise. Exercise is not needed. People come to me in wheelchairs and I still reverse the diabetes. It's really 100% diet. Tonight, I'd like to talk about the reality that people are taught to eat carbohydrates if they have diabetes. Now, you know, when you recall what diabetes is, it's an elevated blood sugar, elevated blood glucose. It's uh, measured in your doctor's office by a pinprick or, or a blood test. It could be that blood sugar, the glucose, or it could be the hemoglobin A1C, which is the measure of three months of the blood sugar. Blood sugar. <laughs> so why are you taught to eat carbohydrates, which of all the things in the food, raise the blood sugar? The problem of diabetes is already an elevated blood sugar. And yeah, it actually makes no sense. If you go back 100 years ago, a low carb diet was used to treat type 2 diabetes. Before there were medications, everything got distracted onto the medications, and the whole low carb for diabetes was lost or forgotten. Now it's resurrected. And if you want to know that history, it's in a book that Gary Taub's wrote and published uh, or had released just this last January, 2024. So by the time people with type two diabetes were known to have an elevated insulin already, yeah, that's called insulin resistance. The treatments were already including medication and insulin for those with type two diabetes. So now if you really looked back logically you would say, well, type two diabetes is a problem of elevated insulin already. The last thing you wanna do is give it more insulin. The insulin is already too high if you check it in the blood. So what makes sense is to reduce the elements in the food and the drinks that raise the blood sugar. And the reason this all got messed up to why many people with diabetes are taught to eat and drink carbohydrates is that people are put on medications that can make the blood sugars go too low. So if you're put on a medication, could be a pill, could be a shot, that can make the blood sugar go too low by a doctor, the dietitians teach you to, or and the diet doctors too, teach you to eat carbohydrates to stop the blood sugar from going too low. So it's the medication that puts you at risk 
for the blood sugar to go too low. And I went to loggerheads with a, a, you know, a very well-intentioned diabetes educator once. You know, she looked at me and said, you can't tell people not to eat carbohydrates. They'll have low blood sugars. And I said, yes, I can. I tell them not to take the insulin that's going to make them get the blood sugars to go too low. I do that at the same time. So most practitioners or most diabetes practices don't have the diet and the, the drug managed by the same individual. So in someone who's going to be helping you reverse the diabetes or prediabetes, we take control of the medication and the food at the same time. On the first day, if I'm lowering the carbohydrate and someone has pretty normal blood sugars, I have to cut way back on the medications in order to avoid a low blood sugar. So you know, why eat more carbs to prevent a low blood sugar that you don't need to have a low blood sugar from the medicine. You don't need the medicine at all. So it's kind of like, you know, you're pouring gas into a gas tank and there's a leak in it. And so you just keep pouring gas in, you know, it's like this vicious cycle. So let's uh, just go back a hundred years ago when they told people not to eat carbohydrates. I have that uh, sheet of paper in my office. If you ever make it to my office, it's from the Osler textbook of medicine. 1923, and they taught people not to eat carbohydrates, and they didn't use medications. Even today, I've taken people with an A1C of 12 or 14, which represents 12 or 14 percent, which represents about a 300 blood sugar all day long. And I've taken them off. Well, no, they, we didn't even use medication. <laughs> I got them to normal blood sugars without using medications, just by changing the food and using a low carb, high fat, keto type of diet. So you don't need, so if, if you're in the situation where a doctor is saying, well, I'm gonna have to put you on insulin or, or any other injectable or, or other medicine that might make the blood sugar go too low, just ask, well, is it possible that I could try reducing my carbohydrate in the diet and you can say that you would do a Mediterranean diet that won't get any flack. If you say keto, some of the doctors might be against it still, which is crazy, but it's the case that we're in. So you, you can ask, well, can I change my diet instead of going on the drug? Now, doctors have been trained that diabetes, and if you ask the doctor what, a, what type 2 diabetes is, they start talking about insulin, about not enough insulin to no. We don't diagnose diabetes by checking insulin. We check the blood sugar. So what's happened is the, the teaching and the, even the companies want you to think that the problem is inside that cell. And, and if you only take that medicine for the diabetes, we'll fix the diabetes because we'll give you the medicine that fixes it and kind of independent of what you eat. And, you know, they have a point. They want to fix it and allow you to eat whatever you want but it really doesn't fix the diabetes. It just manages it. So if you want to reverse type two diabetes, remember diabetes is an elevated blood sugar, reduce or eliminate the factors in the food and the drinks that raise the blood sugar. You won't even need the medication. Now, if you're on the medicine, you got to be very careful and cut back really quickly. Fortunately, blood sugar can be easily checked with a finger stick blood glucose or a, a continuous glucose monitor. But be sure if you're on medicine to do this with someone who understands how to do it. But what I wanted to address this time was the idea that other doctors and dietitians have perhaps told you or a loved one that you have to eat carbohydrate because you have diabetes. Type 2 I'm talking about. No, you don't have to eat carbohydrate. Well, you do if you're on medicines that make the blood sugar go too low. And, and yes, the practitioners are feel like and they are saving lives by preventing the hypoglycemia, the low blood sugar, which can be life-threatening. If you pass out while you're driving a car, you can have a, a crash. Uh, and so, but remember, the low blood sugar doesn't happen unless you're on a medicine that makes the blood sugar go too low. I guess that's an important point to reiterate that 
the blood sugar won't go too low unless you're on a medicine that makes it go too low. See, we have several hormones that, that are uh, there all the time to keep the blood sugar at a certain level. When you add carbohydrates in, then the blood sugar goes up and insulin is used to keep the blood sugar down. But why not cut out all of the inputs that raise the blood sugar, the carbs, and then you, you won't have a low blood sugar because you're not on a medicine for diabetes that makes the blood sugar go too low. Of all the medicines that are being used today, metformin is usually one that started early on. That one really doesn't have the risk of the blood sugar going too low. I, the risk is very, very low. So I don't worry. Often I'll keep someone on metformin if I'm reversing their diabetes. But the other ones, any of the pills, the shots, especially the, the newer ones, that pills that make the urine leak glucose, these are Jardiance, Invokana. These have a risk of low blood sugar and even ketoacidosis there. So I really think that the medicines that are being developed and used for diabetes are just way too strong. And But in the defense of the doctors and the companies, the diet that most people are eating has so much carbohydrate in it that you have to use strong medications. And so it's a harsh kind of thing. Where you, so you, if you're eating hundreds of grams of carbohydrates, there's only five grams in your bloodstream at any given moment, your blood sugars are going like this, then the, the medicines have to be very strong. Some people even have to get weight loss surgery to address the food inputs to reverse the diabetes. That's pretty extreme. All I'm talking about is reversing diabetes by changing the food itself, which can be done with a number of diets, including the one we teach, which is a low carb, high fat kind of approach that we've been using now for over 20, 25 years. And the method that I learned actually came from doctors, a doctor practice where they had used it for 30 years. So we've learned a few tricks on how to help people who, who try the internet keto these days. And uh, now we use what's called prescription strength keto or low carb, high fat diets in, in the practice that I have. So the main point tonight is you don't have to eat carbohydrates if you have type two diabetes. Well, you do if you're on medications that make the blood sugar go too low. So a different option, different choice, and ask your doctors about this. Um, uh, or if you're measuring your blood sugar, you're in charge. Change the diet. You'll see the blood sugars normalize or even stay normal. Uh, and if you're not on medicine, it's okay. For diabetes, it's okay to do this while you're monitoring the blood sugars. If you're on medicine, though, please take advantage of the practitioners that understand how to reduce and eliminate the medicines and reverse the type two diabetes. When I look at the commercials these days, I, I, I'm just kind of shocked. And, and uh, you know, um, the, the idea that you can measure the blood sugar all day long and there, there are these happy people who are bowling and with their iPhones and then checking the blood sugars and, oh, look, it, no, you don't, I don't want you to have to measure the blood sugar at all. I, don't, I want to reverse the diabetes so you don't have to worry about this blood sugar the rest of your life. Is that, is that the plan? Really? No, you don't want to just manage diabetes with medicines and without regard to diet. Take control of the diet, take control, reverse the diabetes, then you don't have to worry about it really ever again if you choose to continue a low carb kind of lifestyle. Well, that's what I wanted to address tonight. So we've learned that you can reverse type 2 diabetes. It doesn't matter how long you've had it, it doesn't matter how much medication you've been on. That's what I addressed last week. And Tonight, I wanted to just also just explain why you don't have to eat carbohydrates for type 2 diabetes. You just have to reduce the medicines. The medicines might become too strong, and it may become too strong on the first day. So be very careful if you're doing this on your own. It's very powerful, which is exciting because you can reverse the diabetes altogether. A reminder that we'll be talking about prediabetes and type 2 diabetes in an upcoming free workshop on April 29th. 
Sign up now at adapterlifeacademy.com to reverse uh, to to um, uh, reserve your space. There, there are limited spaces there. So adapterlifeacademy.com is my uh, company website, and look for the free clinic and free lab workshop. Sign up there. Sign up even if you can't join us on the live because we'll send you a replay after the fact. And uh, there are a lot of labs to that you've heard about, and, but there are a few that are the most important ones in my view, and we'll be sure to go over that so you understand it. That's April 29th at 8 p.m., same time as this one and the ones I've had so far. So I'll see you next week, when uh, Monday, next week, Monday, 8 p.m. for another live. Thanks for tuning in on the live or on the replay.